Okay, well, I'm going to try a little narration here. Uh, this is a 95 Dodge Dakota. I put it about three or 400 miles on it now. All on gasoline, of course. And I'm driving to work. Now I got the windows up, and it's still a little noisy as you can see. Uh, I got 47 degrees on the thermometer on a September morning, and just a little chill in the air. We're not used to this. And one of the reasons why my cars are never clean is because I travel a lot of gravel roads. I live on a gravel road. And this one's going to work and taking me to work. I got a guy going to get over here on the right side of the road here. I see that guy about every morning. <laughs> Somewhere along the trip. Anyway. Cowboy Yeehaw driving, but uh, I think I'm gonna slow down for the stop sign. Alright, that's it for gravel roads. Now, the rest of the morning I got country roads and then heading for the city. Alright, here's your typical country road around here. One of the problems with this truck is the overdrive is not working, so I'm only going 50 miles an hour. Of course, it's the exhaust it sounds like I'm going 100, but 55-ish, but I'm running at 2,600 RPM, so that's something I got to fix. It doesn't matter about the switch, whether the switch is on or off, it don't care. No overdrive. So, it's a little thirsty on gasoline these days. I guess I should have expected that. All the better reason to uh, get her on wood gas as soon as possible. fire department and the poor people are, the poor people of Poe are getting their town all tore up because they're building sewers look free wood they're building sewers city sewers way out here in the country so with this uh, directional drilling stuff they got now the 
directional drilling stuff, they're putting sewers where nobody ever figured they could do it. So it's a little scary and expensive for the residents, but at least they don't have to worry about their stupid septic tanks anymore. Septic tanks got its own worries. Nice place, pond, cut fog coming out the pond this morning. This is what's known as Winchester Road, what we're on now. It's the old way to go from Fort Wayne to Decatur. Sorry about the bumpiness. I don't think a tripod would work in this situation.
out there. This is uh, a lot of telephone poles. This is the Norfolk Southern, which is also known as the former Wabash here. Goes from Fort Wayne to, uh, to Wabash and then to Lafayette and all that. So, so we're waiting. Fort Wayne's still a railroad town. There's a lot less railroad, but there's still quite a bit going on here. So. I could take another way to work and avoid all the railroad grade crossings, but I kind of like the trains and I don't really like the busy roads. So. We'll just sit here and wait. I'm already late for work, so it's not going to make that much difference. It's about almost 8 o'clock in the morning. So, Alright, see you soon. Before in Fort Wayne. Got helper engines on the back. Never, ever, ever have I ever seen that before in Fort Wayne. Never seen that before. That is bizarre. Alright, time to go. Hey, I went around that last corner and as it sometimes happens on a sharp left turn, I guess the exhaust sealed itself up again, so. Uh, almost to work. Lots of towers around here. Well, the code has got me to work. Pretty soon here. Listen how quiet it is now. Used to work there. That's the way it should be now. So, I don't know, something's broke or cracked or loose or something down there. I haven't got it underneath the truck yet. That was supposed to be something that I was going to do, haven't done yet. Fancy new, fancy, fancy front door here we got. Ah, here we are. Retro rebuild fancy TV station. Tower. So actually two transmitters here. Channel, well, it's called channel 21 and channel 33, although it's not really that anymore. Digital is channel 24 digital and channel 18 digital. So, all right. Nice shaky road. Late, late, late. See you soon.